Hello everyone. In this video, we'll see how to use an Arduino Nano board. So first we'll see what is Arduino Nano. Then we'll see how to connect it to the computer. And then we'll also upload a first Blink program. First, let's see the materials required. We need Arduino Nano board and we need a USB Type-B mini cable to connect the Arduino Nano to the computer. And then we of course need a computer. Information about Arduino Nano can be found under the hardware section in the official uh, Arduino page and you can browse on to Nano and uh, you can see the features of Nano. So you can see that uh, it is almost uh, same as Arduino Uno except for the fact that it is uh, very small compared to Arduino Uno and also it comes with the uh, pin headers which can be easily used to attach the Arduino Nano onto the breadboard uh, which was uh, not possible in case of Arduino Uno. So then uh, if you look at the technical specifications uh, all are almost uh, similar to Arduino Uno except uh, for a couple of differences. The first difference is with respect to USB connector. It has a mini B USB connector but uh, Arduino Uno use a type B uh, connector. Uh, then we have uh, a USB to serial converter so in Arduino Uno it used a dedicated uh, microcontroller which was at mega 16U2 but uh, Arduino Nano uses an FT232 bridge uh, chip to do the USB to serial conversion so the last difference uh, is with respect to a power jack so Arduino Uno had a power jack which was available which can be used to give uh, power input to the board Whereas uh, Arduino Nano doesn't have a power jack. So if you want to give a, input, a power input to the board, it should be either through USB or a V-in pin, which is available on the board. So apart from these differences, uh, Arduino Uno and Arduino Nano is almost the same. But uh, Arduino Nano is a lot more smaller and breadboard friendly. So this is Arduino Nano compared to Arduino Uno. So first thing uh, you can notice it uh, is that uh, it is very smaller in size compared to Arduino Uno. So second thing is the type uh, uh, of the USB connector. So this has a USB type B mini type connector and this has a USB type B connector. So the third difference is uh, about the uh, jack, the power jack. So there is a power jack which is available to input uh, power to the Arduino Uno board but the power jack is not present on the Arduino Nano. So lastly we have a header pins for Arduino Nano which can be used to directly mount uh, onto your breadboard but uh, that is not present on Arduino Uno. Let's see how to connect Arduino Nano to the computer. So first thing uh, you need to plug the Arduino Nano to the breadboard and uh, then uh, you need to use a USB type B mini connector. So it looks like this. So connect one end of the USB type B mini connector to the Nano and other end goes to the computer so once you plug in uh, the USB you can see that uh, red LED glows which means that Arduino Nano is powered up okay so let's quickly see how to upload our first program onto the Arduino Nano board so I have selected a simple blink example so we defined a pin number 13 as an LED pin and then uh, we make it high and low so uh, first uh, see that Arduino Nano is displayed over here in the boards and then uh, choose the correct COM port then after that uh, you just need to press uh, compile or verify first and then uh, when uh, you can see there is no error you can upload it onto your Arduino Nano board so once you upload that uh, you can see that uh, the LED on the Arduino Nano is blinking the red color so we'll uh, quickly go ahead and uh, change the pin number 13 to pin number 12 and uh, we'll try to connect an onboard LED onto the board. So for that uh, first we need to see uh, pin number 12. So pin number 12 is uh, over here. Pin number 12. And then uh, we need to check the ground. So ground is uh, over here and then always connect a resistor uh, between uh, uh, 
on the power and one of the columns then connect the digital pin number 12 to the same column over here and then to the LED so connect the LED to the positive over here and then one more to the negative and then the negative ground wire just connect it to the negative uh, railing so this I have used as a positive railing and this is negative railing so that negative railing uh, is going to the ground and then the positive railing is uh, going to LED and through a resistor is going through pin number 12 so just uh, upload the code and we can see that uh, the external LED is uh, blinking So in this video we learnt uh, what is Arduino Nano and how to use Arduino Nano by connecting it to the computer and then we also uploaded our first blink program onto the Nano and then uh, we uh, blinked the uh, LED which is present on board and also we blinked an external LED connected uh, via breadboard. So that's it for the tutorial hope you enjoyed and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you.